What you visualize will eventually materialize, believe it in every fiber of your being. Each individual is seemingly insignificant and yet intrinsically linked to the whole. Just as each drop has the potential to reflect the sun, every human being has the potential to reflect divine consciousness. We find ourselves in a spiritual ascension, reaching heights never before glimpsed by the human soul. Even in the face of the battles we witness in the physical world, arising from religious differences, I can perceive a subtlety in the diminishment of such conflicts. I see a movement of humanity towards a deeper union, a transcendence of the barriers of the ego, a touch on the depths of true spiritual union. The fall of tangible barriers is nothing more than an external reflection of our inner journey, a deep desire for freedom that issues the true nature of our soul. Each awakening being is a catalyst, elevating collective consciousness. When you light up your being with positivity, you become a beacon, attracting others who seek the light. Every act of meditation, every moment of visualization, every pure intention to do good intertwines with similar intentions of souls in every corner of our planet. Our challenge is to go beyond the limitations of human thought, to dive into the infinite field of possibilities. In our deepest being lies a vast ocean of potentialities, patiently waiting to be revealed. Fear, which often manifests in our reality as prejudice, is simply a shadow that obstructs our true light. If you wish to ascend, it is imperative to embrace unconditional love and connect to the energy of souls seeking the same brightness. In the storms of life, remember that you have the capacity to be the calming, the balm. Instead of submerging yourself in the sea of despair, radiate love and light, visualizing a world filled with harmony and serenity. How deep is your desire to navigate the unknown realms of your own mind? When hearing about what is considered impossible, see it as an opportunity to unveil the veil of the possible. In our being resides a force that defies conventional understanding. It is said that we only touch a small fraction of the power of our mind. What then could we discover in the vast territories still unexplored? I believe that abilities such as telepathy and clairvoyance are gifts inherent to human nature, merely waiting for the moment to be rekindled. There are those among us who have already challenged the boundaries of perceived reality, like the brave ones who walk over glowing embers. These are not superior beings, but simply souls, like you and me who in a moment of pure transcendence touched the impossible. Each time we discover that the impossible is just an illusion, our understanding of the universe expands and new doors open before us. So how can you know if your thoughts shape your reality? Simply observe. The fabric of your life is a faithful mirror of your deepest beliefs and thoughts. If you wish for change in the outer world, dive into your inner self. The universe, in its infinite grace, will always reflect what you hold in your heart. Examine your beliefs, your desires, and your fears, and know that, at every moment, you are free to choose a new path. Modern society has often valued the material over the spiritual, the external over the internal. We are taught from an early age to seek success, wealth, and recognition. Often we are told to explore the vast realms of our consciousness, to find the peace and contentment that cannot be bought or sold. Our society values action, achievement, and progress. True progress is not external growth, but the expansion of consciousness, the deep understanding of the interconnection of all things. True progress is measured not by the amount of wealth we accumulate, but by the richness of our inner being, by the depth of our understanding, and by the vastness of our love. The true revolution is not in the external world, but within us. It's not about changing circumstances, but about changing perception. Because, my dear friend, reality is a matter of perception. What we see, what we experience, is just a small fraction of what is truly possible. Many seek happiness in possessions and achievements, yet all external things are transient and ephemeral. True happiness comes from understanding and accepting oneself, from living in harmony with existence. It is not something that can be sought, but something that reveals itself when we free ourselves from the shackles of desire and expectations. Through meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. 
We see how our minds are constantly in motion, jumping from one thought to another like restless monkeys. But with practice, we can learn to calm this restless mind and find a center of peace and clarity. And while many believe that meditation is an escape from reality, I tell you it is the opposite. Meditation helps us connect more deeply with reality, to see things as they really are, not as we want them to be. It allows us to accept life in its entirety, with all its joys and sorrows, its highs and lows. The spiritual quest is about finding unity amid diversity, peace amid chaos. It's about recognizing that, behind all external appearances, there is a pervasive consciousness, a love that unites everything. And when we touch this consciousness, when we surrender to this love, we find true freedom. Let go of all preconceived notions and open yourself to the infinite possibilities of existence. Because life begins where fear ends, we realize that every experience, every encounter, is an opportunity to learn and grow. Pain and pleasure, sadness and joy, are teachers in disguise, teaching us about the impermanence of life and the eternity of the spirit. Modern society may be flooded with distractions, but every present moment is a gateway to eternity. Instead of being swept away by the currents of worldly desires and fears, we can choose to anchor ourselves in the present moment, breathing deeply and finding the stillness that recedes within each of us. It's easy to get caught up in the game of duality, seeing the world in terms of right and wrong, good and bad. But from a higher perspective, everything is an expression of the divine. Everything is necessary and has its place in the cosmic dance of creation. Instead of judging or resisting, I invite you to embrace each moment, each experience, with an open heart and an open mind. Realize that behind all appearances, there is a divine order, a higher purpose. And when we align with that purpose, when we dance in harmony with the melody of the universe, life becomes a celebration, a hymn of joy and gratitude. And in the end, when we look back, it will not be the destinations reached that matter, but the moments of presence, the instances of connection, the flashes of insight, and the abysses of love that illuminated our path.